This is Crypto Kernels. I am your host, Asa Kane. In this episode, we're going to be taking an in depth look at Avalanche, also known as AVAX. Now, before we do so, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the like button, which is the thumbs up icon that you see right up underneath your screen. What this does is it helps to share our video with other people like yourself who are new to crypto and are looking to learn as much as they can now. And also, if you have it, make sure you hit the subscribe button, which is our Crypto Kernels logo that you see right in the lower right hand corner of your screen. What this does for you is it ensures that you don't miss out on any upcoming episodes of Crypto Kernels. Now, what is Avalanche? Avalanche is a layer one blockchain. It functions as a platform for decentralized applications and custom blockchain networks. It is one of Ethereum's rivals, aiming to unseat Ethereum as the most popular blockchain for smart contracts. It aims to do so by having a higher transaction output of up to 6,500 transactions per second, while not compromising scalability. This is made possible by Avalanche's unique architecture. The Avalanche network consists of three individual blockchains, the X-Chain, C-Chain, and P-Chain. Each chain has a distinct purpose, which is radically different from the approach Bitcoin and Ethereum use, namely having all nodes validate all transactions. Avalanche blockchains even use different consensus mechanisms based on their use cases. What makes Avalanche unique? Avalanche attempts to solve the blockchain trilemma, which posts that blockchains cannot achieve a sufficient degree of decentralization at scale. A consequence of this are high gas fees, as is often the case with Ethereum. To solve this problem, Avalanche designed three inoperable blockchains, X-Chain, C-Chain, and P-Chain that we spoke of earlier. How is the Avalanche network secured? AVAX is traded on the exchange chain, which follows its own Avalanche consensus mechanism, unlike proof of work stake. The avalanche consensus mechanism does not have one leader processing transactions that get validated by others. Instead, all nodes process and validate transactions by employing a directed acrylic graph, a DAG protocol. That way, transactions are processed simultaneously and validators random polling ensures that transactions are correct with statistical certainty. There are no blocks in this consensus mechanism, allowing immediate finalization and significantly improving the blockchain speed. Now, who are the founders of Avalanche? Avalanche was launched by Ava Labs, by Cornell University professor Emin Gunsir, and Cornell University computer, computer science PhDs Kevin Sekeniqui and Mao Fan Yin. Gunsir is a veteran in cryptographic research, having designed a conceptual peer to peer virtual currency six years before the release of the Bitcoin white paper. He was also involved in work on Bitcoin scaling solutions and research on Ethereum before the infamous the DAO hack in 2016. From that research arose the white paper that led to the foundation of Ava Labs in 2018. The project closed a seed round in February of 2019 that included investors such as Paula Chain and Anderson Horowitz. Avalanche closed its initial coin offering in 2020 in less than 24 hours, raising $42 million in the process. Now, if we look here, we can see that as of December the 14th today, the price per avalanche token is 8070. We can also see that the market cap is 24 billion dollars. Uh, the price is up just under 4% over the last 24 hours. We can also see here, if we go down, that the circulating supply of tokens currently in investor hands are 243 million, and there are 
total supply of AVAX tokens is 395 million. So right around 60% of AVAX tokens are currently in investor hands. Now, if you're considering buying any AVAX tokens, first consider and answer all critical questions. Now we're going here, we can see that on September the 15th, the price per Avalanche token was 59.34. And as of a little less than a month ago, it had a recent high of $142. And the reason that it's dropped from that is because many people have been selling profits that they've earned off of the Avalanche token. And it's settled now at 80.70, at least for the moment. But you must consider what does the coin or, per or a token do? What purpose does it serve? How many there are in circulation? Uh, what is the total supply? Who is the CEO? Does it have a digital footprint? And does it have a loyal and active community? Now, if you, after answering all of these questions, feel that you want to get some Avalanche tokens, you can do so a number of ways. You can buy them on Binance which is the largest crypto exchange in the world. You can also now buy them at crypto.com. And if you don't have an account with crypto.com or Coinbase, you can sign up using our links and you'll receive $25 in free crypto from crypto.com and $40 in free crypto from Coinbase. And lastly, to protect and control and secure your crypto, the only way to do so is to have your own cold storage wallet. Most people do not still. And this is why so many people um, are losing all of their money because they're not securing it. The only way to secure it is to have your own cold storage wallet. Ledger is one of the leading worldwide manufacturers which is why we own Ledger wallets. They have many different models to choose from. You move your crypto onto your wallet. You can take it with you anywhere in the world and your crypto is secure. No matter where you get your wallet, make sure that you get it from the authorized retailer because buying one from Amazon or eBay is not safe. Now, if you receive value from our episode and you want to contribute to the channel you can do so by contributing via our ethereum link and also our cash app link and also make sure that you subscribe because you do not want to miss out on what we have coming up very soon and until next time get in there and make it happen